Today on The Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make sizzling skillet chicken fajitas. As a busy mom, it's important to me to have easy, quick dinners that I know my family will love. This one is made in just one skillet and it's ready in 30 minutes. We're gonna start by making our own fajita seasoning. You'll need two teaspoons of chili powder, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes and give this a stir. Then we'll set that seasoning mix aside and you'll need three bell peppers. I like to use multicolored because it's prettier that way, but you can use whatever is on sale. Then we're gonna slice these into strips. You want nice thin strips that are easy to eat. And this red bell pepper is particularly long, so I'm also gonna slice those strips in half. Then you'll want to have and thinly slice one red onion. Our veggies are ready. We'll grab some chicken and we'll heat a large heavy skillet over medium high heat. And today, of course, I'm using my cast iron because I love cast iron. We'll get one tablespoon of olive oil or whatever cooking oil you prefer heating in that skillet. Then you'll add in three to four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. And then we'll season these with half of our fajita seasoning mix. And you can season the other side when you flip them. We're gonna let these cook until the chicken reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, which will take somewhere around five minutes per side, but it really depends on the size and thickness of the chicken breast that you're using. Now, really thick breasts like these ones may take more like seven to eight minutes per side. Then we'll pull these off when they're done and set them aside on a cutting board and let them rest before we slice them. Then you can wipe out the pan if you'd like, but we'll add in one tablespoon more of oil. And then we add in our bell pepper and onion. We'll give these a toss and let these cook for about five minutes until they start to get tender crisp. Then we'll add in two cloves of minced garlic and the remainder of our seasoning. And then let this toast for an additional 60 to 90 seconds more. Then we'll grab our chicken and we'll slice it nice and thin into bite-sized pieces that will go well in our fajitas. And then we'll add that chicken in with our veggies. Last, we're gonna drizzle all of this with a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lime juice. Give it all a toss and you are ready to eat. Serve these up hot in warm tortillas and we love it with a dollop of sour cream. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.